Hello, I am Morgan the Play, and welcome to Wasteland. This is a classic DOS game, in my opinion. Uh, though, uh, it was like an Apple to Commodore 64 game, probably, uh, beforehand. I played it on DOS, um, because that was what I had access to. Um, I have taken the liberty of going through my character creation already, because it's a lot of re-rolling and re-rolling and re-rolling until you have something adequate. Um, my party is not perfect, but it is much more functional than the one I was attempting to play through the game with. Um, I will admit I am slightly a scrub in that I looked up a guide. Uh, that's mostly because this game has kind of haunted me for a long time, and there's a lot of uh, misconceptions I had about how things play out um, and what things are necessary. And so I wanted to make sure I wasn't going to screw myself over constantly. I named the characters that I created after the some of the main characters from the TV show Z Nation because I wanted to. So Warren is the lead in my party. Uh, she's got all sorts of fun. They all have like a basic set of skills, and then she has a silent move, pick lock, a couple other things. Uh, Doc, he's one of the people with medical skills. He also has bureaucracy and cryptology, which will be useful at some point. Accidentally skipped 10k, but that's okay. Addy has Medic, Safe Crack, Metallurgy. 10k has Bomb Disarm and an Extra Rifle skill. So let's go. Now if you haven't uh, seen Wasteland before, it's uh, not the prettiest of games. <laughs> uh, we are Rangers from a Ranger Station. Uh, that's not super explanatory. You know, military outfit. This is a post-nuclear apocalypse situation, to some extent. Uh, I believe the background is a US-China war. If this sounds a lot like Fallout, that's because Fallout grew out of Wasteland. Uh, spiritually, at least. Alright. So let's enter High Pool. Now, I know pretty much everything there is to do in High Pool, because I've done this multiple times. Uh... I don't think I'm going to read all of the text that comes across the screen. That would be hella exhausting. Um, I'll try to read anything that's important. So, first off, oh, not the infirmary. Let's go here. There's a pump. This big contraption is Patrick Machine. You recognize a pump? Lime crusted pipes go under the floor. Use. One. Skill. Four, down. The gaping hole beside the pumps leads you to think it could be fixed with a new engine. Awesome. The bedroom looks like a scum pit. Your curiosity is rewarded. Under the loose board beneath the bed you find quite a cache. Who wants loot? Warren does. Warren, oh, that's right. I filled this up on extra gun clips. Uh, Addy has the lowest health. So Addy gets the leather jacket. Okay. Which means only Addy has an AC above zero. You'll notice I'm leaving everyone with their fists. It's apparently recommended to, for it to be a bit until you stop doing that. And you actually, uh, it was actually recommended that I use the brawling skill, which I normally don't do, just for that purpose. Um, so that was just a notice on the wall uh, with like a checklist of things that need to be done. There's a cave. You want They want to fix the water purifier. Uh, they need to do something about Bobby's dog. Something to do with Jackie, and the adults want to raid some outlaws. I think the adults raid outlaws is actually like a a mistake. Like I don't think that's ever actually dealt with. Let's break open this door. I don't think there's anything actually in here. Yeah. There's like some flavor text, but you know, it's just like it's a small town, you know. Now. Whenever you see an NPC on the field like that, with like the blue shirt, you can uh, hop into an encounter. Um, apparently there is no penalty for beating these guys, and they have a rocket you can take. So, uh, combat. Oh god. Slightly faster than that. 10k attacks, Warren attacks, Doc attacks, Addy. You'll notice they were all getting two attacks, that's because of the brawling skill that I picked up. And 10k got them both, got some experience. 10k gets the loot. The mangler is that, like, uh... Uh, whatchamacallit? Rocket that I mentioned. 
There's a shop here. He only really sells. He only really deals in tools. Um, I don't really need to deal in tools. Okay. Down here is a boy. I want to ask him about Bobby. Okay, dog. Rex. Sick. Basically, his dog got rabies, and he's hiding him in a cave. Oops. So you go over here. You do a quick perception check. You might need to do it more than once. The skill checks have a failure rate. Sometimes it doesn't show... I guess a success rate's a better way to put it. Sometimes it doesn't show what that they got it wrong, just nothing happened. Sometimes there is a negative result, it depends on the check. Alright, so, looked around a bit, found a deep hole to a dark cave. Short strand of frayed rope, about three inches long, dangles in the tree. Look. You need rope, huh? Well then, let's use some rope. Okay, let's go into the cave. Oops, did not mean to exit the cave. Let's go. Uh, now, this is impassable rubble, unless you climb. Damn it. There we go. There's the dog. Normally, I don't bother killing the dog. I think I'm going to be a little less... I want to play the game as they would play this. They would kill the dog. It, it looks like a zombie dog. Though I don't think this is going to work too well. <laughs> Yeah, maybe we need to run past this thing. Yeah, this this is a uh, use skill. Someone's got to make it up. Damn it! What? <laughs> the tech speed changes. Okay. Um. So, I'm actually down here- oh, shit. Oh, sorry. Serious wound is not something I expected to deal with, uh, in this location. Um, so basically when- when you- When you are- Uh, when you drop below zero hit points, a couple things can happen. You can end up unconscious, or you can end up seriously wounded, critically wounded, mortally wounded, dead. Um, you need medic and later doctor skills in order to go from those worst things, excepting, excepting dead, up to unconscious. And if you're unconscious, you recover with time. I have never seen that dog seriously wound someone. But, luckily, this group of characters does have a couple who have basic medic skills. So, Doc was able to fix that. But now, Warren is unconscious. Ah, so remember what I said about the encounter thing. It's a juvenile here. I'm not gonna kill the juvenile. I'm gonna hire the juvenile. Um, thank you for asking me. It's Jackie. I found Jackie. And as previously stated, we also found Bobby's dog. Ow. There we go. Do you have skills? Nothing useful. Jackie's interesting. I'm probably going to hang on to Jackie for a bit, mostly as a way to uh, stash some extra items. This is a, not a good fight with this dog. I have not seen this dog do this kind of damage before. I wonder if it's because I killed the juveniles. Jeepers. Damn it, stop falling. Oops. Okay. Alright. So now I have Jackie. I need an engine. I can't do that yet, because I don't have one. I don't think this guy sells engines. Yeah, he doesn't sell engines. A lot of these are, like, specific use items. Um... I have some as like basic things. I don't have a Geiger counter that'll be useful at some point. Um, all right. So I haven't fixed the water purifier. I've done most other things. 
So I could go to the doctor and have him heal me because dear lord I need it. But you can also just let time pass. Alright, that's a bit better. It's not perfect, but it's better. Alright. Let's, uh... Oh no, animals. Punch them. <laughs> wow. Punch them. <laughs> Guys, you're really bad at this punching thing. This is not that hard, guys. Punch the lizards. God damn it. Do I need to equip guns just for this fight? Like, come on. Let's try. Come on. There we go. Jeez Louise. And just like that, all that health I just got back is gone. Okay. Entering Agricultural Center. Outside the sales booth, a group of ten men with axes, hoes, rakes, and shovels shake their heads with despair. Gotta ignore them for a sec. So we're about to encounter one of the other interesting features of this game, in that text... For the amount of text you've seen on the screen, the lion's share of the large text is not there. Anything that, like, wouldn't fit inside this box is in a separate, uh, file called the, uh... Originally, it's a separate book. There's a paragraph book. So I'm going to walk up here, and it says, read paragraph 56. Closer. Oh, shoot! Could hear the, conversation. the port has... Whoa! There's a short silence after each man voices his thoughts. They speak of varmints who are impossible to kill. The varmints are stealing their food faster than ever before, and they seem to be massing for a major attack. The simple weapons of the farmers are not enough to stop them. They have no idea what to do. One of them jumps as he notices you and they all turn to face you. A stocky man they call Miguel approaches. So I'm not sure if you could hear that properly. Uh, so I will summarize it. Uh, farmers are concerned. There's a bunch of animals that are too strong for them to fight. And a stocky man they call Miguel approaches me. I did not know I could click in this version of the game. I could click on this and it would pop up in another screen and do a voiceover. I have, like, the paragraph sheet up on a different screen, and I've been trying to figure out how I can, like, not have the old game, like, freak out when I switch to a new tab. That's awesome. Okay. Um, I'm gonna offer to help. Miguel is pleased. The other farmers smile and thank you. They lead you to the vegetable fields. In the shadow of an this is long. Tracking dish stands the old man. I'm gonna just sort of... Years old, he is still in I know what he's saying. He's gonna say I'm gonna skip that. That's just gonna take a while. Old man is just like, I hear you're gonna help us. Not sure what your peace shooters, uh, peace shooters are gonna do against the animals. The animals are pretty resistant to gunfire for some reason. And he says, watch out for Harry the Bunny Master. And we walk through this field. Oh no, rats and more rats. All right, we punch them. Uh, So, one thing that's that's important to note, you haven't seen it, it's not super apparent here yet. Uh, this game is actually kind of graphic with some of the deaths. Uh, we haven't seen it because we haven't killed a whole lot. And also it gets kind of worse once you have, once you're like regularly using uh, guns. But you have things like exploded like a blood sausage as a typical death message. Uh, so things will get a little bit colorful. All right, come on, guys. You can do better than this. Okay. It's gonna increase the speed. Oh, no, that's. I might be a little bit too, too bit fast. Okay. And I think that's all the rats. And you get various amounts of experience. Now the experience, you can radio home basically, and if you've got enough experience you get promoted, 
and you get some benefits from that, including like higher skill skill caps. It's a lot of wheat, potatoes, and beans, and carrots. Oh shoot, I found Harry. <laughs> Normally I run around a lot more before I find Harry. All right, well let's uh let's beat up this Harry. Also, because of how the game's grammar works, it is the Harry. All right, 10k. Now it's interesting this when someone gets hit unconscious, they have when they come on back to conscious, they tend to have around the same amount of health as that last below took. So you'll notice 10k was unconscious and came back with like half of his health, um, which is uh, pretty nifty. Come on, people, you can beat the Harry. Someone besides Jackie can beat this Harry. You'll notice I'm not having I'm not having him attack the bunny directly. I can kill the bunny after Harry. Harry's the bigger threat. Uh, Jackie might attack the bunny if she feels like it, because for the non-player created characters, they actually will just attack who they want to attack. You don't get to pick what group. Jackie killed Harry. Jackie is a kill stealer. I should actually probably ditch Jackie because that yeah that's not good for our experience levels. All right, uh, Doc, take the cash. All right, old man is pleased to see you've killed Harry. His destruction will demoralize the remaining varmints. A holiday will be declared in your honor. Farmers cheer nearby. Murdering the cute little animals has rescued their major food supply. All right, well, let's explore a bit more. Now we got oh great more rats. There's a whole like under under farm section we can run around in. There's a lot to do around here. I'm kind of sad that we just beat Harry and we're done with it. Okay, yeah, I need to. Jackie is kill stealing. <laughs> Granted, it's possible that it's the uh, the fact we're using fists. Maybe if I... He picked up a club. Let's, uh... Yeah. Let's see if anecdotally that helps. Though granted, if Warren goes and is, uh... If Warren is no longer hitting twice, then that was the wrong move. Warren is still attacking twice, so the club is actually not a bad idea, probably. Let's see if crowbars help as well. Yeah, 15 points of damage, it's a hell of a lot more. Oops. You got knocked out before you could switch weapons. Okay. Is everyone still attacking twice? Probably. Okay. A deranged farmer. Kill him. Ow. <laughs> there we go. I, I might quickly check that guide and see if there's a reason to be here once I've done all this. Okay. Okay. I did skip some stuff with the catapults, but... Uh, okay, cool, cool. So yeah, I... 
Yeah, I, so I can like run around and do some stuff, but like there's nothing else essential here, really. Uh, uh, well, there's the root cellar, but I'll get to that in a sec. Yeah, let's, let's talk to this guy. You want some root cellar? Sure. Okay. So there is a diary somewhere. Ah! The diary talks about the last days during which the satellite facility was operating. Las Vegas is still intact. Needles wasn't damaged by bombs, but some flooding occurred when the river level rose. Quartz suffered a lot of damage. In hurried script, the last diary entry reads, we're abandoning the satellite installation so we can join the farmers out at the ag station. We've deactivated the alarms and electronic countermeasures that protect this place. Okay. There's some stuff in a couple of these boxes. A couple of pistols. Clip. Plastic explosive. Give that to Addy. So basically the finding things, it's based on like passive perception checks. All right, cool. So yeah, there's a few things there. Nah, I saw your root cellar. I'm happy. Sorry, I want to read that. Four foot tall pears, pleasingly plump, perfectly prepared, possibly to plummet perilously from the precarious purchase and pummel any passing pedestrian to a pasty putrid pulp. That is a great sentence about pears. All right, let's break out of here. A whole bunch of fruit. Cool. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do with that fruit? Immediately sell it to this guy. Sell all that fruit. All right. And Warren's holding all the money. I did that mostly so that Jackie wouldn't have the money, um, but also because I like to know how much I have in the party, and that's a good way to do it. I am still super injured. I'm gonna make time pass and heal up a bit. There we go. I wish I had like a little ding for when I was done. Okay. Iguanas. That is much better. Okay. So this is not where I want to go. I want to go here. The desert nomads. Okay. Read paragraph two. You've come upon the rail nomads camp. Ornery looking longhorn cattle wander among dusty tents from which sullen faces appear. In the background, a ramshackle collect. So I, I just think he reads really slowly. Um, basically, it's a camp that's based around like a train station. Not really clear if the train is working. Uh, the brake man is like, hey, I have something, a job for you, come see me. Uh, oh, shoot. Hmm. Say chat. Okay, so that guy needs a password. Oh, great. Radiated dogs. Gotta love it. Come on, guys. I have faith in you. <sighs> We're not, we are not rolling well here. 
except Jackie. <laughs> Try one more round, I might whip out guns and see if that works better. Okay. Oops. Board misses. Everyone swaps out for some stuff. Got a little bit better results. Actually doing damage, one dead. Jackie, don't steal that kill. Okay, cool. Come on, guys. There we go. Good job, Warren and Addy. All right. I'm gonna switch them all back, actually. Okay. Okay. As you board the locomotive, you're met by a short but solid looking fellow. There's an engineer. Hang on a sec. Engineer's like, how can I help you? Uh, sorry, just referencing my guide real quick, so I don't make mistakes. <laughs> uh. Okay. So the engineers. Uh, As you board. Doesn't really say much. There's a ten dollar slot machine. No. There's like a gambling skill you can use. I don't want to deal with it. All right, let's buy. My inventory's full. Doc, do you have space? No who has space, 10K has space. 10K, take all the money. Okay, buy. Ah, I don't have enough for the engine. I only have 296. You know what I can do? Hmm. Ah, you won't take. Shoot. I don't know what I just sold. I sold Doc's crowbar. Okay. Uh... So I don't have enough money to deal with that. As you pass the open doorway of this car, you're almost overcome by the strong odor. Super drunk hobo. Uh, there's this like snake squeezing stuff that people seem to like. You just got a lot of that. Okay. Breakman meets you at the door of the caboose. He asks you, thanks you for heeding this invitation. He has something for you to deliver to the head crusher and quartz. I will take that mission. The Breakman tells you. Takes this visa card this and visa give it to the head crusher. To head crusher. Okay. Oops. Uh, Doc, take it. Okay. There's some other stuff I can do here, but I need, like, unless I am cheating, I need, uh, actually, no, there's one, there's one other thing I can do. Um, there's, like, a couple things in here we need, like, a certain passphrase in order for it to be worth it. Ah, uh, jeez. Alright, let's go. Come on, guys. There we go. There's a lot of these suckers. Come on, guys. You're better than this. <laughs> Shoot him. That didn't work. <laughs> Guys. Guys. Okay. Everyone's unconscious. 
when everyone is unconscious, you basically just... Time passes until someone wakes up. I do not expect to get this happening here. It's only really dangerous when it's time passes and someone is seriously or otherwise wounded. Because then... Someone can die while you're waiting. I think Warren has enough EXP actually now to get a rank up, which is good. Once I'm finished with this battle. This is obnoxious. Damn it, Doc. I can't unequip it from the screen the way I want to. Ah, jeez. Okay. Shoot. Okay, this is bad. Use skill. Eight. Three. You... You're not one of the medics, are you? The medics are Addy and Doc. Okay. Shit. Sorry. Language, but like... This is very bad. This is very bad! Oh. Lordy, we are screwed. real quick. Alrighty. Uh, Warren needs more IQ, actually, uh, for later. But I don't know if that's... Yeah, let's do IQ. There's, I mostly remember this game for doing things like this. And like, I know I can help. I know I can help 10k because I helped Doc and Doc was just as wounded. There we go. And back to unconscious. All right. Let's chill here for a sec. Time passes faster on the world map, which is why I walked outside to heal. Get some kills in. Okay. Switch people back to their other equipment. I'm gonna save. Ah, oh, jeez. Um. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm gonna keep keep playing a little bit longer. Um. I think, yeah, yeah, because I want to, there is something to do in there that I've never done and I want to try it, the, the guide mentioned it. Okay, actually, quick radio in case someone who was unconscious gets promoted. Nope, okay. So apparently, damn it, real thieves. You're the worst, Rail Thieves. Warren, you're supposed to hit things with the club. 
There we go. There we go. Good job, Addy. All right. So apparently, if I talk to this guy, you find your self in a splendidly furnished tent. Men, women, and children, and elders alike smile and greet you. From behind, you hear the guards say, Welcome to the Pika Clan Fools. Um, the entire clan branches hidden weapons and attacks on mass. Okay. Um, doing a slight, slight cheaty thing here. I'm not, well, cheating is the wrong way to put it. I'm not cheating. I'm... <laughs> Gonna see if I can't copy and save my, uh, save file. <laughs> um, I just don't happen to remember where the save file is. thought I knew, but I was wrong. There might be an app data somewhere. Sorry, this will only take a moment. We'll get back to the killing and maiming of, of random people uh, momentarily. Copy. Oh, no, don't delete the new folder. Okay, saves backed up. Oh gosh, that's a lot of people. Um, no one is within range of physical stuff. Everyone's gonna evade. They're all gonna run at me. <laughs> it's the children and everything. Okay, um... I guess everyone just pick a group. Okay, making some progress. Got a couple of them. They're not doing too, too much to me individually, which is good. It kind of bothers me that the children are involved. Jackie's unconscious. Jackie has, like, no health, so that's not super surprising. Doc! Okay. Addy! Completely missing his bull, guys. There's so many targets. Okay. Okay. I should have waited longer. I definitely should have waited longer. Okay. Doing a little damage. Okay, okay. Go, one more kill. Uh, that leather jacket's doing real good for Addy. <laughs> A pistol packing baby topic topicon attacks. Really? Alright, lots of people conscious again. Doc Warren, really? Guys, guys! <laughs> ah. See, that's the problem with playing this kind of game and not playing like you know games where it's more directly I press a button and I hit if I was in the right spot type situation. It's a lot of shouting at the screen. <laughs> there we go. Doing some damage. Of course, every time I go through one of these things and like I go unconscious, time is passing. So I'm wasting a lot of in-game time here. Okay, 
Okay. Damn it, Addy. Damn it, Doc. Okay. Come on, guys. <laughs> so much for that turn. Did damage, but no kills. I might make it. Nope, didn't make it for the round. There we go. One down. There we go. Good turn. <laughs> Just Jackie. Addy. There we go. One more kill. Good, good, good. Okay, all the elders are dead. Progress has been made. Back to killing the men, I guess. <laughs> I assume the elders might be easier, so I diverted focus to them. Okay. Come on. Doc, 10k. We're better than this. Uh, the children are probably the easiest target. Yep. <laughs> Addy. Gonna speed up combat messages, I think. Whoa! Someone lived through a turn. Okay. There we go. Okay. There we go. There we go. Progress being made. Look at that. It is one man, one child, four women, and then that baby with a gun. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. Okay. Damn it. Damn it, ten K. Okay, that's all the men. <laughs> uh, still lots of women. All right, no more children. So just the, the couple of women and the baby with the gun. Okay. Party is to run towards baby with a gun.
That was depressing. Gun baby had two health. Uh Shovels. we go. They don't have any points in pistols because the guide I'm using actually uh, generally recommends not using pistols ever. Um, basically use physical weapons until you're far enough along for it to make sense to use uh, like rifles. But I like having the pistols as a backup. Okay. Okay. Got a lot of stuff there. Still not enough to go buy the engine, but I might have enough random stuff to sell now. Uh, nope. Sell the extra crowbars. Uh, maybe the hand mirror? Sell the hand mirror. I'm gonna give the snake squeeze into the hobo. I forgot to check. 10k. Okay. Use four item. You stare with utter disbelief as the snakes. He basically is like a weird prophetic type thing. So he's like, you know, beware. The man who's long lived longer than the wasteland. Okay. Anyone else promotions? No other promotions. I am saving and stopping here. That is a that's a good spot to stop on after a unnecessarily brutal fight. Uh thank you for watching and hopefully I will have more wasteland to come. Ciao.